Hello, Super Learners. My name is Miss Jennifer, and I'm so excited that you are here to learn with me today. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and a stuffed animal for today's lesson. Ask a trusted adult to help you find these items. While you're getting your supplies, I'm going to grab mine as well. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back now and I see you are too. We have our supplies, so let's go. Today, we are gonna reread the story, Puppy Paints. We will practice retelling the story and review the parts of a book. We will also review the letter P and learn about the letter G. Are you ready? All right, super learners, let's get started. First, let's review the letter P. The letter P looks like this. Do you remember how to write it? Show your stuffed friend how to write the letter P in the air. To write the letter P, we start at the top, make a straight line down, then jump back to the top and make a curved line to the right and back to the straight line. Great job! The letter P makes this sound. Say it to your friend. Now, turn back to me and say it. Great job saying the sound. Now, let's look at our circle map and see if we can spot words that start with P. We have our pizza. Tell your friend, what is the first sound in pizza? Right. Mmm, my pizza is yummy. How is your pizza? Tell your stuffed friend, what is the first sound in the word puppy? Right. Let's pant like a puppy. <laughs> Tell your friend, what is the first sound in paintbrush? Right. Let's paint together. My paint is purple. What color is your paint? Tell your stuffed friend, what is the first sound in pickle? Right. Let's eat a pickle. Great job. I'm so glad that you remember the letter P and its sound. Now, we are gonna learn about the letter G. The letter G looks like this. To write the letter G, we start at the top, we make a curved line down to the left, then we come back up and slide to the left. Let's all get out our magic finger. Use your magic finger in the air to write the letter G with me. We're gonna start at the top, make a curved line down to the left, then come up and slide to the left. Great job! The letter G makes this sound. G. Say it to your stuffed friend. G, g. Now turn and say it to me. G. Good job saying the g sound. We are going to use a graphic organizer called a circle map to help us think about the letter G and the things that begin with its sound. G. You can make your own circle map using your piece of paper and a pencil or crayons. First, you're going to draw a small circle in the middle of your paper. Write what you're thinking about in the circle. Today, we are thinking about the letter G. So you should write the letter G in the small circle. Then, you're going to come to the top of your paper. Make a large circle around your small circle. And now, you have a circle map. Super learners, I need your help so that we can fill in our circle map with things that begin with the sound G. I will give you a clue and you try to guess what I'm thinking. Are you ready? Great. I'm thinking of a food that I love to eat that begins with the G sound. It is a round fruit that comes in a bunch. 
tell your stuffed friend what food I'm thinking of. Did you say grapes? That's right! Can you show me how it looks when you eat grapes? Yum! Those were tasty. Now I am going to write the word grapes on the circle map. Hmm, grapes. What is the first sound in the word grapes? That's right! G. Which letter do we need to spell that sound? That's right, we spell the sound G with the letter G. Then we need R A P E S. Now, I'm thinking of something that is part of a fence. It opens and closes to allow people to go in and out. Tell your stuffed friend what I'm thinking of. Did you say a gate? That's right, great thinking. Can you show your friend how to open and close a gate? It's kind of like opening and closing a door. Now I'm going to write the word gate on the circle map. Hmm, gate. What is the first sound in the word gate? Did you say g? That's right, g. Tell your stuffed friend which letter we need to spell that sound. That's right, we spell the sound g with the letter G. Then we need A T E. That spells gate. For my last clue, I'm thinking of a color. It is the color of grass in the spring. Tell your stuffed friend what I'm thinking of. Did you say green? That's right, great thinking. Can you show your stuffed friend something green in your home? Now, I'm gonna write the word green on the circle map. Hmm, green. What is the first sound in the word green? Did you say g? That's right, g. Tell your stuffed friend which letter we need to spell that sound. That's right, we spell the sound g with the letter G. Then we need R, E, E, N. That spells green. Wow, super learners, our circle map looks great. Look at all those G words that we know. Thanks for helping. Now, let's get ready to read our book. Here is our book. We read Puppy Paints the last time we were together. Today, we will be using retelling cards to help us retell the story. A book has several parts. This part is called the front cover. It has the title, tells the author and illustrator, and has a picture to show us what the story is about. This is the back cover of the book. Let's practice to see if you can tell me which is the front cover and which is the back cover. Tell your stuffed friend, am I showing you the front cover or back cover? How do we know? It has the title, author and illustrator, and a picture. Tell your stuffed friend, am I showing you the front or back cover? That's right, this is the back cover. How do we know? It does not have the title, author, or illustrator on it. Let's turn the page and read our story. As we read, pay close attention to two things. First, listen to what Puppy sees and paints. After we read the story, we are going to remember all of the things Puppy sees and paints. Next, if you hear a p sound in your word, Touch your ear and tell your friend P. Puppy sees a flower. Puppy paints a flower. Puppy sees a doll. Puppy paints a doll. 
Puppy sees a cat. Puppy paints a cat. Puppy likes his paintings. We heard a lot of p sounds in that story, like puppy and paints. Now, let's use the retelling cards to tell what happened in the story. If you forgot something, you can always go back in the story to help you remember. First, Puppy saw a flower. I'm gonna put the retelling card that shows Puppy looking at a flower on the board in the, the first space. This retelling card shows the first thing that happened. Then, Puppy painted a flower. I'm going to put the retelling card showing Puppy painting a flower in the next box. Tell your stuffed friend what happened in the next part of the story. Did you tell your friend that Puppy saw a doll? That's right! Now we need our retelling card showing Puppy looking at a doll. What happened next? Tell your stuff friend. Did you say that Puppy painted a doll? That's right. So now we need the retelling card showing Puppy painting a doll. Hmm. Let's go back in the story and see what happened next. Tell your stuffed friend what happened in this part of the story. Did you say Puppy saw a cat? That's right. I'm going to put the retelling card showing Puppy looking at the cat. What happened next? Did you say Puppy painted a cat? That's right. So now I need the retelling card showing Puppy painting a cat. Now, tell your friend what happened at the end of the story. That's right. Puppy liked his paintings so much, he hung them on the wall. Let's put our picture showing Puppy hanging on the wall. You did such a great job retelling the story. All right, super learners, that is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you so much for being with me as we reviewed the letter P and learned the letter G. We also learned about the parts of a book. I hope you enjoyed retelling puppy paints. Keep looking for the letters P and G. When you find new P or G words, add them to your circle maps. I'll see you next time.